Hey, yo, what's going on? Hey, you got a problem here? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, I got it all for you, kid. Refuse. Hey, yo, friends. It's, it's your main man Z here with that Reviews Will Kill You. And I'm here to talk to you about why you should watch the Tulsa King hit series out of nowhere. Kind of took everybody by surprise. Sylvester Stallone, 75, dropping it like it's hot. You telling me the Italian stallion is going to drop it as a uh, mafia guy? What's going on here? What's up with that? Uh, let's talk about it, friends, because it's an astonishment to me. Hopefully, it's an astonishment to you. Have you watched The Tulsa King? Do you like it? Are you telling your friends? Because I'm telling you, I'm telling my friends to watch The Tulsa King. So let's just talk about it real quick. Here, I am the guy. You're probably going to hate me. Let me know down below. You know where to tell me. I'm not a Godfather guy. I don't think Godfather's the greatest movie of all time. I've seen Goodfellas. Hey, it's fine. It's alright. You know, Scarface is alright. It's cool. Whatever. I'm just not... I just don't care about the mafia. And I'll explain specifically why. I don't care about criminals killing criminals. I just... The mafia rubbing each other out. Killing each other to make each other made men and all. I just... I'm not that interested in watching criminals kill criminals. Now, what I do like... I am interested in is when criminals involve regular people. So when we talk about Breaking Bad and we talk about things you know, along those lines where you have someone who's a normie or a normal person being like, oh, I'm going to turn into a criminal. Now you've got my interest. And here you have Tulsa King. We have Sylvester Stallone, star of such movies as Rocky, Rocky 2, II, Rocky 3, II, Rocky 4, Demolition Man, underrated classic. So here you have Sylvester Stallone playing an Italian capo, a mobster. And does he end up at, like, where does he end up? What, what does it look like? It's essentially a fish out of water story where you have this Italian mafia guy where he ends up in Oklahoma, in Tulsa. And he's trying to rebuild his entire life and his entire thing. And what I like about it is he involves normal people and he takes over, you know, his his mafia life ends up spilling into other people and they actually address it several times with several of the characters. Some real good character growth. I really highly recommend it. I think it is a great show. It's not the greatest show I've ever seen, but I highly, highly recommend it. I really think it's great. The performance is Sylvester Stallone, the man is 75, I believe, and is giving some of the best performances of his life. Uh, he was recently in a movie for Amazon Prime, which I actually liked. Uh, the Samaritan, which I thought was pretty good. And the Tulsa King just takes it to another level. On no way would I ever have thought of Stallone as an Italian capo, like a made man going out and doing things. Essentially, the plot is he spent 25 years in prison and he's recently released. And when he goes back to the family, they say, yeah, we don't have any. You're retired, man. We don't need you here. We need you in Tulsa so that way we can make us some money and leave us alone. We don't need any of your problems. Uh, but it goes and that but then it goes further and there's a really good a lot of good character development a lot more interesting things that go on we'll start talking spoilers from here on in so just be aware I just want to point out like how great this is so he shows up in Tulsa and he meets a, a kid on the street who picks him up to be a driver and he convinces him to join his crew essentially he's in the first season he's putting together his team he's making a new family for himself and he still has problems with the old family, the old Don of the family. He's very old. He went to jail for 25 years to protect the man. He was like a brother to him, and his son is taking over. But his son is a buffoon, and you don't seem to really see 
all of like how did he get there because there's some you know uh dwight the stallone's character dwight man freddy seems to have gone on to jail because he committed a murder but you don't really know the circumstances and they do a really good job of pacing i think the directing's really good uh as i watched it on i think i watched it on hulu or no i watched it on paramount plus it's one of the it, it, i'm telling you it's one of the best things i've seen and it's on paramount plus never would have thought about it right so you have him go through and start putting together his old team he meets an old mafia guy that he knew and the guy tries to kill him but he, he ends up talking to him and saying hey look no grudges why don't you come work for me and his charisma just shines through stallone's always been a star but this is one of his most underrated performances i mean the man's put it in work and unfortunately it looks like this could be his swan song one of his last acting projects He's not sure, but he's saying like, you know, this could be one of the last things. He is a producer as well. So um, I'm sure doing double duty is a little bit tricky, but the casting has been sensational. It's really interesting to see this fish out of water where he's a, he's a New York gangster going away. You know, he's, he walks into town and starts building his extortion racket immediately. He goes to a marijuana store and starts extorting them. But they find him charming and they think he actually does provide a service to them. He goes and finds a bar and in the bar he's learning, he, you know, what, what goes on locally in uh, Tulsa and, and how the people operate. And it's a different culture, but he has to adapt. It's funny too because his nickname's The General and throughout the series you find it out. Now, I do have two things I, I will give a little bit of a criticism for. You have two main villains, which is actually really good. You have the old family, the old mafia guard that he's part of, and there's clearly a disconnect there because there's a bunch of plot points, but essentially, like, one of the guys may have done his daughter dirty. He was supposed to be, they were, the family was supposed to be looking out for his family, including his daughter, after, you know, while he's putting in time for them, and he won't say a word because you ain't gonna say a word. I mean, I, nobody, we don't rat no rats here so he he won't say anything uh but he finds out that maybe one of the officers or one of the capos may have done his daughter dirty and uh done some awful things to her and that won't stand especially when he's been given the protection of the don and you just it's crazy so uh then he's also getting out of prison and he and he meets an atf officer randomly and she's just divorced just some really great acting all along. like there, there there's a lot going on uh i like the mafia stuff because i like the villain because he seems multifaceted he's very insecure because of what his dad did to, like the way his dad's raised him and the opportunities that he's missed but then they have an, uh, a motorcycle gang, which I think is interesting. And they have this Irish guy who's at the head of the motorcycle gang. He's a little one note and he g it definitely gets his comeuppance. And I felt like they could have explored that character a little bit more, but they didn't do that much with it. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Leaves on a great cliffhanger, really big, uh, exciting cliffhanger. I'm trying not to spoil too much because I really want you to go into a blind. I definitely would not have thought that Stallone would deliver this kind of performance. I've always liked Stallone, not the biggest fan in the world, but I think he does a great job when he does. He is exceptional in this. He's the general, he leads his team, he delivers a fantastic acting performance. I cannot talk highly enough about this. It's just, it's really interesting. And I think he's going to, if he wants to leave, he's going to go out on top. I mean, I hope he wins some awards because it's just absolutely astonishing what he brings in. One of the most iconic actors of the past 40 years. You know, the, uh, the man was in Rocky, which he wrote and, uh, you know, starred in. I think he, uh, he has screenplay credits for Rambo as well. He did The Expendable. He's a producer on Creed. The man is really iconic. And uh, it's just great to see him do this. And especially at 70, 70, he's 76, the character's 75. But it's it's just kind of phenomenal. Like he really is delivering. Um, let's take a look at the scores. W what's interesting here is that on the tomato meter you have the critics at 78 percent but the audience is at 90 percent 
if you have not caught this, you're sleeping on it. And it's not Stallone in like a big action role. Like he's definitely a tough guy, but he's not doing anything exceptional. There's there's no part where you're like, this is unbelievable. It's just really, really well done. Tons of great, great co-stars. Um, you have Andrea Savage delivers a great performance. Martin Starr is fantastic. Max Casella. I mean, everybody. Dominic Lombardozzi. <laughs> Lombardozzi. Please, Chicky. Uh, but everybody in it is really fantastic. I definitely, I definitely enjoy the cast. And uh, it's, it's a sleeper hit. People are sleeping on this one. So you heard it here first. Our views will kill you. Giving it the double thumbs up. Telling you, you got to catch this one. Especially if you like the whole idea of like fish out of water story. You like the crime stuff. Like I said, I'm not the biggest mafia guy in the world. I'm not going to tell you that Godfather is the greatest movie of all time. I'm going to give you an offer you can't refuse. But it's not going to be that one. So anyway, let me know down below. What do you think? Did you like it? Will you watch it? I tried not to spoil it. If you want me to do a crazy in-depth breakdown, let me know that down below too. I would really like to know your thoughts because I'm excited about this. I want to know what you are. Uh, be sure to check our full-length audio podcast. It's a big part of what we do here. Check it out. It is uh, Friday nights. We live stream it here on YouTube. You can catch us on Rumble as well. It's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join us. Come join the chat. It's a lot of fun. Promise you, you can catch the audio podcast, the playback for free on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. Any place you can get any type of podcast, check it out. We really do appreciate you listening. We appreciate you catching the video. But as for me, uh, I'm on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to move on to the next one. Love you.